jangan lupa klik subscribe dan tekan tombol bell untuk mendapatkan video-video terbaru dari channel kami. Music is frequency programming. Music is frequency. What frequency are you being fed? If I play with those frequencies, right? I can target certain parts of the mind, target the frequency to go to certain parts of the mind, and I can literally, if I want you to astral project, or if I want you to go to sleep, or if I want you to go into a meditative state, I can make my music do that. The brain processes information electrically. It communicates with the cellular structure electrically, and it operates within a certain band of frequency. If you can broadcast frequencies carrying information, this, this technology has long been known, carrying information and perceptions within the frequency that, that the brain decodes information, the brain will decode those frequencies and will have those perceptions. You can externally influence people's perceptions externally by broadcasting these frequencies that, that we interact with, because we are antenna. The sad reality is that where we now play our music is in A440. Where did that come from? It used to be 417. A440 came in with the Roman Catholic Church. They suppressed the frequencies. They lost somehow the 152 of the best Gregorian chants, including the hymn to St. John the Baptist, which we've now recovered, that that particular hymn was what triggered Dr. Paleo's investigation, looking for those frequencies of vibration by which the music was played. It was known as the most uplifting hymn of the, all the ages, the most spiritually uplifting hymn, hymn to St. John the Baptist. It was played to six tones. These are those six tones. These are those six frequencies. And so the a440 is what now is the standard tuning. If you go A439, you're closer to one of the Creator's tones. If you go A441, you're closer to one of the Creator's original tones. That's how precisely it has been manipulated. To do what? To shut down the 95% of your brain, particularly the right brain that operates the heart mind to the divine human community. Some decades ago, there was a guy who worked out the frequencies of different emotional states. This is long ago. I mean, it's very, very sophisticated now. So every thought, every emotional response is a frequency. It, it generates a frequency and it is of, of itself a frequency. Hate is a frequency and it's different to love. You know, when you are in a, in a room and there's lots of aggression and conflict and hatred, you feel it. What do people say? Oh God, you can cut the atmosphere with a knife in there. That is because the frequencies of hate and conflict have been so generated, they have changed the electromagnetic field of the room. When you go driving your car and your channel on the radio is tuned to a station and you're grooving to the music, you love that music, as you get farther and farther away from the broadcasting tower, that music gets static. You start to lose the signal from the clear channel, broadcast, and it gets staticky. When it gets staticky, you get a little annoyed. But you want to listen to it. You really have a heart for that music, so you continue to listen to it for another 10, 15 miles, and suddenly it becomes so annoying that you just get disgusted, you go, ah, and you shut it off. And if you continue to listen to it, you get sick. That's what we're talking about here. Except you don't even know that you've been listening to the static your whole life. You don't even know what the true resonant frequency is because it has been kept from you. Now, of course, to really be effective, we need to use the proper words and phrases, scientifically selected. But that gives you the basic idea. We embed messages just below the threshold of perception, so they can go directly into the subconscious. They can play across a community these frequencies without anyone knowing, and it starts to have an effect.
and it starts to build, build rage, it starts to build anger. And people might not realize why they're feeling it, but they start to feel it. And then what they do is they, they trigger that with an event, maybe a, you know some guy is attacked by the police or something, or somebody's a, arrested for something they didn't commit. And now the, there's the trigger. The blue touch paper has been lit of this manufactured frequency driven rage and you have mass riots and what have you and people do things that they wouldn't normally do. So in other words the master composer, master conductor of the Universal Orchestra is singing love songs in 528 uplifting everything simultaneously and we're the only species out of tune and accepting static for the clear challenge. Do you know that the American military, they've admitted this. They have technology that fires frequencies at the enemy that basically breaks the enemy's spirit. So they, they, they give up and um, put their weapons down. This is the technology we're dealing with.